Hi there Virgo, this is your May love reading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards, I'm going to select three for your energy, how you feel towards your person, or where you're at with love and relationships at the moment, and we'll do the same for your person or your current partner. So let's just shuffle the cards, and when the first one falls, that's our indication from Spirit to stop and select the cards. So let's see what we have. Oh, here we go. Seven of Wands, we have the King of Swords, and we have Temperance. Okay, all right. So look, you know, we've got the Seven of Wands here, Virgo. Look, it does show that maybe you have been feeling a little bit challenged when it comes to love and relationships. It could be um, from a past relationship or maybe how you're feeling towards a current partner. You know, we have this sense of kind of conflict or, you know, having to be in battle or warrior mode, maybe being a little bit in fight or flight, having to defend or protect yourself a little bit. So maybe you are dealing with someone who might be a little bit argumentative as well. Um, that's what we see with the Seven of Wands. But I'm seeing you show up here as the King of Swords, Virgo. So the King of Swords is somebody who is ready to speak their truth somebody who's ready to communicate, somebody who's ready to transform the situation. Because you're now sort of seeing the bigger picture. I think you're really seeing um, your person or the relationship that you may be in or the one that you want to pursue. You're really seeing it clearly. You're seeing um, it from a very sort of strategic viewpoint where you can now make a really clear decision on what you want to do. That really is the energy of the King of Swords. You're holding a sense of authority, victory, and power in the situation. So I feel like it might be, you know, your call, what happens, whether you move forward and pursue this relationship, or if you're currently partnered, you know, what you actually um, do about resolving the kind of energy here that we, we see feels a little bit, um, maybe like swimming upstream, that it's not really flowing at the moment. But we have this beautiful temperance in energy here, and I really feel that, you know, you are willing to do the work to heal, to rebalance, and to restore this love energy, this emotional energy here. Sorry uh, about that, Virgo. I've got the washing machine on. It's just decided to spin now, so I hope it's okay and you can hear me. Um, you're really ready to do that, you know, that spiritual alchemy that it takes to get things back on track. So if you are currently partnered, I see you, you know, actually um, doing some work on yourself, working on your physical, mental, emotional well-being, getting grounded again, you know, being being ready to walk a new path, turn a new chapter, turn a new leaf. Um, it could also be if you're single, um, you know, you're getting yourself in a position where you do feel regenerated or reborn, ready to get back out there again as well. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. That's sort of saying that it is kind of divine timing now for you know, a new beginning in love to come on the scene. So let's have a look at your person. And see what the mix is. With that temperance, it could mean that now you're really wanting to pursue somebody who has the right mix of qualities for you, has the right ingredients for, you know, a life partnership. Okay. Virgo's person for May. What do we need to know? Temperance is also the calming force as well, Virgo. So maybe you've needed to be the calming force in a current relationship. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Page of Wands. Wow. Okay. So if you're in uh, a relationship at the moment, I feel like the tables are going to turn. So if it was kind of feeling more like a battle and you were sort of going against the stream, I feel like that's all going to change. And, you know, you're going to have this sense of new renewal in your, um, you know, in your love, you know, being able to re-explore, reinvigorate. You're going to rediscover the passion again. For those of you that are single, you know, 
this could mean that it's now divine timing for your person to come in. Your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and they could be younger than you or embody some kind of more immature or just playful young energy. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune here as well, the person that you're involved with or going to be attracting into your life, there could be some sense of karmic contract between you guys that you are in each other's lives for a reason. When you meet the person, you might get a strong feeling that you've either met them before or that they're going to be quite influential in your life, you know, when you just get that sense. But there is a, a sense of timing here that it's the right time for this person to come in for you to accept love into your life. And I feel like this person that's coming in or it was currently there for you, Virgo, wants to offer you their love. They want to offer you that cup of love. They could be somebody from your past, somebody you've known in, child, in childhood, somebody you've worked with before, somebody you've met through a friend or have a connection with. Um, again, I'm really getting the sense of somebody with a, quite a childlike energy or somebody who also makes you feel young again, free again, playful again. Um, yeah, so this person really does want to make you the offering. Uh, we see a sense of a, a love or a passion that can grow, can expand, can bloom, can overflow if you are ready to receive that Virgo. And the Page of Wands, you know, it could be somebody who is quite fiery and passionate, um, somebody who's really uh, enthusiastic, somebody who can really see the opportunity between you guys when maybe, maybe you weren't able to see it, but this person is kind of standing in that desert and has found the sprouting wand and are really wanting to, to offer it to you. Um, yeah, so I feel like that could be the, the missing ingredient. You know, temperance is kind of a watery energy. Um, it's kind of a calming energy. And I feel that um, this person that's coming in could be the fire to, to that kind of watery energy. I think this could be the missing ingredient, the sense of passion, energy and enthusiasm that this person can bring into your life for you. Beautiful. Okay, Virgo, that is your love reading for May. Um, just remember it won't be everybody's reading, but you'll know if it's for you. And I hope to bring you another one next month.